Don't you hate it when you forget something? Hey everyone, welcome to our second tutorial with Audacity. Remember, Audacity is an audio program that allows you to record audio and edit audio tracks after they've been recorded. Last time I went over a bunch of tools, but there are uh, three very important tools that I forgot to tell you about. So let's talk about them right now. First of all, to show you these tools, we're going to go and open our file from last time. So file, open recent, and there's our file that we created last time. The first tool I forgot to tell you about is the selection tool. It's a very important tool. What the selection tool allows you to do, just like in Microsoft Word, is select a portion of your audio track. So I can select right here, I can select right here, and you notice that you can tell the area that's selected because there's a gray background now here, but there's also a dark gray area here as well. So uh, let's say I just wanted to edit this portion right here, or I just want to delete that. So I would click, I would select that and hit delete, and you'll notice now I've deleted the middle of that track. And that's gonna sound kind of funny. Let's hear what that, what that just did. Good morning, Brown Middle School, or morning announcements. And obviously I don't want to do that, so I'm gonna go ahead and undo that. So that's what the selection tool does. The second tool I didn't tell you about was another type of selection tool. It's this magnifying glass. It's the zoom tool right here. And the way that tool works is, let's say I just want to pay attention to this portion right here where I'm talking. So I select it and I let go and it zooms in on just the portion that I had highlighted. Let's say I want to zoom in more. I've got the zoom tool selected. Let's say I just want to pay attention to this area right here. And again, oh look, now I've zoomed way into the audio track. So that's kind of how that zoom tool works. Now if you're thinking that is way too small, I'm not gonna be able to use that information, that's fine. Over here, you have uh, other magnifying glass tools. So I could just keep hitting zoom out until I find what I want. I could also come here and click uh, fit project and then it'll bring me back to, all the way back so I can see my entire project on one window, which is pretty useful. Okay, the last tool I need to tell you about today is this time shift tool. So what the time shift tool allows you to do is move tracks in uh, time here. So let's say right now I'm talking pretty much at the beginning of the track, right? Let's say, I don't want to do that. Let's say I want to talk a minute into the track. So I, now I can just move this over to one minute. So again, I select this tool here, the time shift tool, and it allows me to move this track around. So now the music would play for a full minute before I started talking. Now it's not obviously what I want to do. So let's go ahead and move this back. And you'll notice right at the beginning of my talking, like right, wow, that was annoying. Let's notice right here at the beginning of my talking, I'm gonna go ahead and select it. I just have nothing except maybe a little click of my mouse. I don't want that there. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. And that moves me all the way back to the beginning. So now what it looks like is this. Good morning, bro. But I don't really like me talking right at the beginning of the track. I also don't want this noise at the very end of the track. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that just by selecting and hitting delete. And now I wanna start talking, let's say exactly five seconds into the track. So I'm gonna move this over to the five second mark. So now what you're gonna hear is five seconds of music and then me talking. Here we go. Good morning, Brown Middle School. Every student, every day, college and career ready. Today is October 12th, 2015 of the current era, and these are your morning announcements. So there you have it. We've gone over the selection tool right here. We've gone over the zoom tool right here, and we've gone over the time shift tool right here. All three of those are very important tools that I forgot to tell you about last time, which 
makes me feel like a tool. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you want to, please consider hitting like and subscribe. I always appreciate it. You can follow me on Twitter at Mr. J Corwin. I think I've got a Facebook page or something. Anyway, I really appreciate y'all and we'll see you next time.